Every few years, you start to hear this buzz about creatine and hair loss again. This can be frustrating because creatine is literally the most researched sports supplement on the market. Not to mention the fact that the study that everybody references for this claim of creatine and hair loss was literally done back in 2009 and has not been replicated since. The study in question involves young male rugby players, people training very hard playing a highly competitive, testosterone-driven sport at an age when testosterone levels would already be pretty high. This study had a pretty short duration overall of being only a handful of weeks, during which these rugby players were supplemented, loaded up with creatine. The whole connection with hair loss happened due to the elevation of something called DHT, which is dihydrotestosterone. DHT happens to have a high amount of genetic variability, and it also increases in people that are actively participating in exercise training. So not only are these research subjects young, high testosterone males, but they're also performing an activity that drives up testosterone levels anyway. And so with something as well studied as creatine, having a single older study in which they showed elevated DHT with a population that could already have elevated levels of DHT, come on people. Talking in absolutes in respect to human physiology is kind of a recipe for disaster. I'm not saying that there can't be connections between these things. I'm just saying that the current research evidence base is not sufficient. And taking anecdotal research from people that have experienced hair loss while taking creatine does not mean that these two things are independently associated with each other. It can just be coincidence. Did they get their DHT levels checked before? Do they have male pattern baldness in their family genetics? Like these are important questions that you don't find out with these anecdotal, I lost my hair from taking creatine statements. Now I started this video with a full set of hair. If I anecdotally told you that just by talking about creatine monohydrate, I went bald, would you believe me? That's the same level of information that people are taking from these anecdotal evidences that creatine is going to cause hair loss. Hold yourself to a higher standard. Hold yourself to evidence-based research articles. And preferably, not ones that haven't been replicated in over a decade. I hope you learned something today, and have a good one.